Immunogenicity is a property that enables a substance, such as a drug, to provoke an immune response. So when we start um, in this response, we have the therapeutic protein or the drug. This drug is actually presented or seen by what we know as an antigen presenting cell. This antigen presenting cell is most likely a dendritic cell. The majority of them are dendritic cells, although other cells can act as antigen presenting cells. Like the B cells, the B cells can also be antigen presenting cells. The characteristic of these cells is that they can see the whole protein, they can engulf it, and then they can present it to the T cell, but they don't present the whole molecule. They present only the T cell epitope that the T cell will recognize and become activated. This activation of the T cell is usually accompanied by a differentiation into one of the three major Th phenotypes that will then act upon either the neutrophils, the eosinophils, or the macrophages. I encourage you to see the TH Phenotype YouTube video that I recently posted that explains in more detail this response. For this particular talk on immunogenicity, the important point here is that an antigen presenting cell that could be a B cell or a dendritic cell then activates the T cell and this T cell will differentiate into activating or helping the activation of the actual effector cells that will deal with the antigen, in this case, will deal with the drug. This is what we know as the cellular immune response. The cells are actually going to deal or destroy either the drug or the drug that has been engulfed by a cell, and they would kill that cell. On the other hand, an activated T cell can also produce cytokines that stimulate these B cells. So the B cell was acting before as an antigen presenting cell, but if the T cell goes back and stimulates that B cell with the appropriate messages or cytokines, this B cell will actually respond with maturation and differentiation, activation of these B cells means that they will eventually become plasma cells and they can produce cytokines, but they also, most importantly, produce the antibodies. These antibodies are going to be directed to the drug. So the interesting thing here is that the B cell can see the whole protein that presents the T cell epitope that has been digested by the, by the B cell to the T cell. The T cell activates that B cell and the B cell produces antibodies that are not limited to the T cell epitope. They can bind any part of that therapeutic protein or antigen. The immunogenicity B cell response is the one that we're going to explain right now, which is the response from the B cell. It can react to the complete drug to the whole antigen. So the B cells can identify the whole antigen. They can then digest it and present the T cell epitope directly to the T cell to activate it. And the B cells respond to these activated T cells. So when the T cells are presented, either from the B cell or from a dendritic cell, a particular epitope that comes from a drug, they can then produce cytokines that stimulate the B cells. These B cells will become activated and they secrete cytokines themselves like interleukin-6 or TNF, and they can also develop or differentiate into plasma cells that eventually will produce the antibodies. But an important part of this whole T cell activation is the production, the B cell response of memory B cells. Now, not all of the immunogenic responses will have memory, but if they do, it is very important for us to understand if the patient is presenting with a primary response, which is the first activation of the B cells with anti-drug antibodies, but they could disappear or if it's a secondary response where these antibodies will always be there and will always be secreted 
whenever there's new exposure to the antigen. So the B cell response to the drug is what we know as the anti-drug antibody induction. 